Hey, buddy. You're not gonna attack me, are you? Are you a bad guy? Are you? You're, you're just a dog. Oh my god. Come on now. Save me. I got my own dog. Hey, this one likes me. What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm at the Dueling Peaks Shrines uh, right here. Uh, there's another one up there, because apparently, according to my friend in Jamarian, I missed a shrine down here that's really important uh, for my climbing gear. And so we're going to go get some extra climbing gear. I don't know exactly where it is, but I think it's down here somewhere. Uh, as we kick off today's episode, it's down by the river apparently, as we kick off today's episode, and that's why I kept beeping, like, shrine here, shrine here. As we kick off today's episode, guys. As we do it, I want to thank you so much uh, for all of your support on this series. You guys left over 8,000 likes now on the very first episode. And thanks to that. Oh, there it is. Wow. Thanks to that, the uh, the first episode has over 320,000 views. We're nearing a third of a million, which I'm quite excited about. I'm thrilled, in fact. What is that over there? Oh, fishies. I, I can just swim and get some fishies. I can swim with the fishies. Hey, buddies. There's one. You know what? Maybe I'll just go on the stream. Where are you at, fish? I like having stamina. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was a carp. Anyway, yeah, so apparently this is like the third piece of uh, climbing gear here. Uh, it's like a bandana, and it was something that I don't have. And so I'm, I'm actually looking quite forward to getting it. Whoa. Oh, man. Get out of here, lizard dudes. Well, I guess I'm here for a fight then, huh? Let's fight, why don't we? Yeah, come on. Come on, do what you... Ew, don't spit. Well, what the... What do I do? Uh... Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're not gonna use fire arrows on you, you dorks. Uh, we're gonna use regular. Dork. Dork. Dork, dork. There we go. You guys are dorks. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't even care about their things they dropped. Um, the climbing gear is gonna be quite useful because uh, if I have the third piece, apparently there's a set bonus, I can get it upgraded, all that stuff. Uh, but not just that, I'm also kind of excited about, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, just kind of getting this cleared off because I, you know, I, I can't promise that I'll 100% complete this game. I, I think that'll be quite impossible, in fact, to do so in a, in a real meaningful time frame uh, but uh, what I do like obviously um, are just kind of getting things done boom blow it up just getting things done opening up treasures of course look at that that's a travelers with an attack up that's actually really good um, I love finding things with attack up some blue over there see I've already been that way but I missed this shrine entirely uh, you know several episodes back uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and uh, apparently get some more climbing gear, which will improve uh, my ability to climb. And um, I hope to do something, though. After this, we have a memory uh, somewhere that I think uh, is going to be really interesting. And I'm not 100% sure where it is. But like I said, I've been reading the comments. Uh, and I I've also been taking uh, the advice from my friends like Ninja Marion and everything about like which ways to go. Uh, so your comments, your tweets... Uh, all that stuff, my, you know, uh, all sorts of stuff has really helped kind of guide me to know which things I need to be doing. This is timing is critical, which is, uh, okay. I think stasis here. What, what do you think we got? That looks fine. That was perfectly timed. I did it. I did it. <laughs> all right. Uh, easy. Easy puzzle. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding with you guys. Obviously, there's going to be more. And so this makes me wonder, you know, like, is, is this where I should set... I should go in now and set my treasure chest, my Sheikah sensor, to the treasure chest. There is one nearby. I don't know where it's going to be. But uh, I do want to kind of take a look over here. Obviously, there's one up ahead. So timing is critical here. What's What's the difference here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... I used to do stuff like this all the time. Don't ask me how. I don't know how or why. That seems like a pretty good one right there. Oh. Well, it went without me. 
All right, fine. Come back. Come back. We'll do this. Come back. I'm asking you nicely. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go up top here. There's a treasure over there. I don't know if that's the only one, but there's also a treasure there. So I see two. Uh, so what's the what's the trick here? This is actually a pretty fun one. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do a little bit better. I like this. This is kind of fun. Whoop! Got it in. Oh dang it! Uh, the platform again. I keep forgetting about platforms. Platforms, platforms, platforms. So, here we go. You know, I gotta really think. How am I gonna get that, right? I'm probably gonna have to somehow use stasis on it. I bet you anything. Or, actually, are these magnetic? Hold on. Come here, you barrels. Think I can climb that? Instead of instead of just I was thinking in my head, like, just put this on a switch. Think I can That doesn't quite look like I can do that. But it does look like, you know, I can continue using Magnesis. I was gonna try to take the easy way out. Oh, there we go. Let's take it a little bit easier than that. Uh, let's go ahead and move that down. Oh god, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, great. Excellent, what's inside of here? Oh, there it is, the climber's bandana, perfect. So I got the climb speed up for like all three. And then I actually have a full set of something, which is really cool. Uh, this is the first time I think that I have a full set of something that's useful. Uh, so the climber bandana, look at me, look at me. I'm a good boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, where we go? And I don't see any other uh, tre treasure things. Oh, but you know what? Obviously, I would like to be able to go up. So let's uh, let's let's use my nieces again. I wish my range on this was a little bit better. Kidding me? Come on. Uh. Really? Fine. Oh, what the heck? I'm gliding. <laughs> All right. So. Oh yeah, put me back here. We're exactly where where, where I want to be. You know, actually, I can glide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's be cool, though, about this, because this may not work either. Either way, I'm going to get healed after this, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm like, no, we can't have this. There we go. Nice job, Zack. The smartest Zelda player ever. There we go. Goodbye. So I get, you know, uh, I got my climbing set that's really awesome. Um, I'm pretty thrilled about it, to be honest. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. So kind. So very, very kind. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, what else do we need to do? Yeah, we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this building here. All right. The next place I'm going, uh, you know, I, I asked you in the comments in yesterday's video, like, if you want me to go into the Goron City area or stay in the Akala area. And uh, a lot of people said the Akala area, and I don't know like what the numbers were exactly, but I, I agree that the Akala area seems a little bit better because of the fact that uh, they, they said there's like a research lab somewhere like up top here. So we're going to go, maybe, actually, maybe this is the research lab right there. I don't even know. It looks like a maze. <laughs> but uh, they said there's a research lab this way, uh, kind of like the other one that we found. So uh, I guess if we head towards the spiral sort of, We'll kind of find it. And oh, there's another shrine this way too. So, um, did I mark that one? I did. And there's also another, uh, um, uh, what, what am I saying? What is that? Oh, that's just a mountain. There's also another uh, stable 
Sables often have some interesting missions, uh, so we'll go check it out. I'm really curious what's in the middle there. That looks like something, right? Let's go check out what's in the middle. I saw that last time, so we're gonna fly in. And I don't yet have three cores. What is that? Is that something? I don't think so. I don't know if this is anything. Maybe a Korok berry, uh, but we'll see. This looks pretty uh, laid back. Oh, is this just a statue that I prayed to? <laughs> is this just a statue? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I don't have enough spirit orbs, but I'm glad to, uh, to have found you. That's cool. Uh, interesting. Oh, wait, was there, no. I don't think I have a memory related to this. Uh, this area doesn't look familiar at all. So, yeah, it depends on, like, where do I want to go next. This is a pretty peaceful area. I'm glad there weren't monsters over here. Uh, looks like there's a down boat or something. But with my climbing gear, now I'm pretty excited. Because I can climb some of this stuff a lot better. Probably will be more useful in the Goron section. But look at me. Oh, my God, I'm going. I'm going. Look at this. I like it. I like me now. Look at me now. Oh, I hear monsters or something. Oh. Hey, buddy. I need a rock. Do you know where I can find a rock? Because it seems like... Where, where'd he go? Hey, buddy. You're not going to attack me, are you? Are you a bad guy? Are you... You're, you're just a dog. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. No. Okay. Th you know what? Okay, but... Mmm... You're just a dog. Stop messing with me, dog. I don't do. I don't mess with dog. Why is he attacking me? How do I say? How do I say stop? How do I say? Oh my god. Oh my. You know what I do? You know what I do? You know what I do? You know what I do, right? Here. Come on now. Save me. I got my own dog. Hey, this one likes me. This one likes me. See? Go get him, boy. Yeah. Scare him off. Dog fight. Dog fight. Yeah. I got Wolfie Link here. Y yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got raw prime meat. That's mine. Sorry. You got the kill, but that's mine. Thanks. <laughs> Who's going to eat my raw prime meat? You got to be joking, kidding me, man. All right. Where do I find a freaking rock? Get some birds. Yo, go eat them. Jump and get them. You can jump higher than that. I need a rock for this. There's got to be a rock somewhere. I hope they don't just put it like way far away. I'm not going to carry a rock. I don't know where a rock would be. Maybe I'll let it slide. I need a rock. Well, I don't know. Thank you, Wolf Link. From another era. Scanned you in. Thanks for saving my hide. That's gonna do it, you know? I, could, I didn't have the heart to kill another dog, but I thought if my dog kills another dog, that's fine. <laughs> All right, but we're headed this way. I don't know if we should follow the road or what, but I'm, I got my traveling companion here. So this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty decent journey. I hate, I hate that I have dog meat in my inventory. Maybe I should just let my dog get the dog meat. Oh my god, he's on, he's on the, he's on the advance. He's on the offense. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's chasing other dogs away. Oh my, he, he's going way far to chase that. Okay, see ya, Wolf Link. <laughs> I, I, I don't think they're that much of a danger. I just gotta trust he'll come back to me. He knows where his home is, right? I gotta trust. All right, we're we're headed this way still. Is is he back? Gosh, don't run up on me. You're freaking me out. He was for real about that. He was that was no joke. He was for real gonna just go track down another dog and murder them in cold blood. That's okay. Oh my god, there's a fire bat dog. Get it. There's a fire bat. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks. I love it. Uh-oh. Is it getting stormy? Oh my god. 
Hey, here's a question. Can you keep up with me? Can you keep up with me? Can you keep up with me? Of course you can. You're a good, uh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, lightning's around. Let me make sure I'm not wearing anything. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah, Let's. we're going to switch to a guardian's spear. There we go. Oh, my... He just murdered another dog. Stop murdering dogs. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, now they're looking at me, so get him. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what do I have on me that... Okay, hold on. What do I have on me? Okay, uh... Inventory. No, you're not gonna do this to me. This is not good. None of my climbing gear is sparking. Oh, my shields are sparking now. I need to wear this. This is this isn't sparking. All right, I'm good. Don't. You can't. You can't. I'm not wearing it. No, I'm not wearing anything. Please, please. I. Oh wait, I have a bow on that's sparking. Okay. Good lord. Um. Here, let's just do this spiked bow. Now I literally don't have anything that's sparking on me, right? I'm good. Please don't kill me. I'm fine. All right, thank goodness. Let me just murder another dog. Raw prime meat, though. Oh my god, I love it. All right, wow. I have the ultimate companion here. I scanned him in. This is great. Is my wolf buddy. Wolf Link. Oh, oh, sheep. I maybe should get these guys, buddy. Oh, yeah, you can get the heads. There we go. Holy God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We just rampaged those guys. Holy cow. What a team member. You're the best, Wolf Link. I'm gonna get all these parts. I don't even know what to do with them. I mean, I, I technically know what to do with them, but I, I don't really know what to do with them, is what I'm saying. We can get back on the road, though. I feel like we're not on a road. I just, I like to do, I like to go straight. Straight shots. There's another dog if you want to murder it. He's howling. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my, oh, my goodness. Okay, you don't have to track him down, but okay. Man, I want a dog like that. One that I can just walk around the neighborhood with and it will kill other dogs. And I'll, I'll be the alpha dog of the neighborhood. That sounds good, right? No one will laugh at me anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my, really? You will do that for me, Wolf Dog? Wolf Link? All right, sure. Guide me, yeah. Take me there. I think I know exactly where it is, though. But take me there. <laughs> that looks cool. Oh, there's a person. They don't mind me, but I have a d wolf dog with me. He's laughing. Hi, traveler. Isn't Master Koga just so dreamy? I could stare at that poochy tummy of his all day long. What? There's no way you don't know about him. How could anyone know not know about him? He's a leader of the Yaga clan, master of countless Sheikah secrets, and sworn enemy of the hero lo thought long dead. Uh, you, Wolf Link, come here and butcher this woman. <laughs> I'll take your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure you will. Yeah, yeah, you're going to take my life? That was easy. Easy. Oh, my God, I got some... My she was carrying bananas. I wonder what she was using those for. Uh, I can't carry any more weapons. How about we ditch the, uh, this double axe that I just don't really need? Do I need a sickle? Nailed it. Uh, my dog didn't even help me. He didn't need to. I got a vicious sickle, though. I got a sick sickle, dude. Oh, here's the... Here's the... Uh, um, uh, the stable that's up here. I could have been riding a Pona, but hey. Could you keep up, dog? Wolf dog? You probably could have. Wolf Link. Hey, there's some more dogs for you to murder. You should, you should know better. This guy is like the ultimate dog fighting champion. He's killed like seriously like six dogs now. Just within the past of like, you know, uh, what? Ten minutes at, at most? Good job, buddy. It's some uh, raw prime dog meat. Did you run the other guy off or did... Okay. Who knows? And do not mess with this guy. Like, I'm not even playing. Don't mess with him. Seriously. I'm gonna do the shrine first, since so it'll just stop beeping. 
But we're, we're encountering a new area. Katosa Og Shrine. Can the wolf dog come in with me? I wouldn't mind. All right, let's, let's head in. I don't know that I'll be doing four shrines today. It's more like just kind of whatever feels natural in an episode. I'm always looking for like, what's this episode about? And like, so right now in my mind, I'm thinking this is a good episode to showcase the wolf link because I just kind of summoned him. I have the, the Midna with Wolf Link Amiibo. Uh, you should definitely get that if you're playing this game. I recommend that one, uh, but definitely the one that gives you uh, the Epona, which is the old Smash Brothers uh, Link Amiibo. So those are two that I highly recommend for this game. This is, uh, okay, Katosa Og Apparatus. Wolf Link doesn't get to come in here with me, thank God. So what is this? Okay, this looks, oh no. I think I know what this is. All right, this is like mini golf. Nailed it. God dang it. God dang it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a putter. You're kidding me. Come on. Can I redo that? Thank you. It's like freaking golf here. This is like mini golf. Excellent. Please. This is how I often do it mini golf. I'm just like waiting. I'm like, yes, I hit it so slow, but it's going in. All right. So one thing I do, oh, cancel obviously. One thing I want to do is set my Shika sensor to treasure chest. I'm almost there. Okay. Not quite. You know, you gotta wonder. There is a chest here somewhere. You gotta wonder where it's gonna be. Believe me, I'm gonna be getting off here. Just take a gander, take a looky look. What do you guys think? I honestly don't know where it's gonna be, is a thing. Oh, it looks like it's just behind. Okay, hold on. Come back to me, buddy. I'm gonna jump up here. There we go, good stuff, right? He's gonna take me right over here, but there's a whole other room over here. What the, they want me to cash out now? No way, I'm going all the way. I'm gonna do an 18 holes. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know what the way is here, but sure. Oh, God. Oh, my. Okay. Cancel. I already bumped it. This is like mini golf. Okay. <laughs> Redo, please. Do I not get another chance at this? Come on. Cancel. You get one ball. Like he's like, you lose your ball, you lose your turn. Nailed it. That's it. That's it. That's it right there. Okay. Um. Yeah. This, I see. They they did this for a little extra challenge here. All right. So I. Okay. Come on. Obviously not. Okay. So I move this back. I don't. No. 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 There. That's a perfect shot. Right. Nice. All right, how the heck? This is this doesn't feel right. Okay. God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it steady. Here I am. I'm moving it. I'm tilting it. I'm turning it. That's it. That's it. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. That was perfect. Oh baby. I'm a golfer. Yes. So now what? Now I have a, a place to go. Yeah. A treasure chest. Very cool. See, I'm glad I turned the sensor on. I, I would have clearly seen this, but wait, what's the item I get? A great frost blade. So I have all these blades like with stuff and, okay, let's let's get rid of something. I have like a thunder blade, a frost blade. I don't know if these, how, how often these things come around. This, uh, this, I, you know, I'm not liking the double axes too much, so let's just ditch those really quick. There we go. Nice. 
I have all that I need. All right, I'm, but I'm switching back. I'm switching like the sickle, the vicious sickle, the sick sickle, dude. All right, I'm having a lot of fun with this episode. Hope Wolfie Link is still waiting for me. Here we go. This will be my second uh, orb today. I, I'm not. I did not have plans on getting like four spirit orbs, but if it happens, it it happens. That'll be great. I know exactly who to pray to as well. All right, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we're good. Just got another spirit orb. That's number two. Numero dos. May the goddess smile upon you. You, 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 you. Um. So yeah, I gotta find out where this thing is, huh? There's a stable right next to me. So just keep heading north. See what happens. But uh, yeah. Throwing weapons. No thanks. I don't want to throw my weapons. I, I I only throw weapons away. Dang it. Is Wolf Link not here? That's okay. I, you know, I really like his presence. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scan him back in if it's possible. Can I scan it more than once a day? Oh, beautiful. You can, actually. Beautiful. Well, hello to you two. East of Collis Stable. There must be a West of Collis Stable then. No issues to report. Good evening, Haas. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Haas. Jeez, it's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has. Yes. Recently, I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? No, I don't. I see. Well, if you see suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this this uh, this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. A shady customer. Who's this? Hey. Oh, it's Kahini. Hello. Welcome to Isakala Stable, the premier stable of the East. By the way, good sir, the outside is crunchy while the inside is chewy. Take one bite and your energy will go through the roof. Oh. Go and try one of our Kala buns. They're a delicacy. Sure, I'll try one. Sure, thank you so much. Oh, one thing to know. Kalan doesn't go bad fast since they're made of fresh ingredients. So you have to eat it here the way we can ensure the quality. Okay, sure. <laughs> thank you so much. Give me 10 rupees. Here you go. <laughs> He's laughing. Okay, why is he laughing? Oh my, just munching crunch. And down the hatch it goes. I'm being force fed. Oh, I got some stamina. So how was... Stop laughing. Yes. But you're weird. You're so weird. So I get some extra... So come here for 10 rupees. Get like a stamina overload. Let's think about that for a second. Uh, let me... How can I mark that on the map? Because I... That's that's interesting. That's uh, that's some good stuff. For 10 rupees, that's good. Um, so let me go ahead and just zoom in. I want to mark it somehow. How do I... Yeah. So we got... Uh, I can't really do... Okay. What's like a bonus? A star could be the bonus. Like stamina. A leaf. Uh, whatever the heck this is. That, that's treasure. Let's put like stars in like, yeah, stamina boost, baby. Maybe I'll remember it. I want to go kill some chickens. Oh, is that oh, a shrine way over there? I don't know that I'll be doing a, a two more shrines this episode, but if it happens, it happens. We're just patrolling the area. Let's go inside now. Do I need this? No. Woodcutter's axe. No thanks. It's raining. No issues. Okay. Thanks, Haas. Haas is the boss here. You guys has beautiful hair. Oh, whoa. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Welcome. You're Keeny again. Okay. A sacred article. Wakey, wakey. You woke me up. I guess that's okay. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange taste. You look like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world. <laughs> who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? This area. Let's see. If you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place called the Spring of Power. Uh, offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what the legend says. Maybe it was part of the ritual the princes of Hyrule Castle used to perform. Anything else you want to know? Farther areas? There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by, though. Anything else you want to know? Goodbye. So I wonder if the lighthouse thing is like the research lab that I'm looking for. 
Ring of Power. That's a Shrine Quest. Beetle, buddy. What do you have for me? I don't even want to talk. Oh, I do have the a Rugged Rhino Beetle. Uh, Sure, why not? Let's do it. I don't know if there's a quest. That looks cool. Tough vegetable omelet. So he got a he, he added something to his beetle collection. Now what do you what do you have? Arrows, arrows, carrots. So ooh, butterflies. I don't have this butterfly at all. Let's go ahead and buy some of those just because I don't have them. I'll take them all. I've never seen that butterfly before. Sounds great. Hardy radish. Those are good too, right? I'll take them all. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Beetle. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> I don't sell unless I don't want to waste a lot of time selling. Whoa, there's a book. Rumor Mill, Volume 4. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of worlds long gone and worlds yet to come. Everyone gossiping in the present world? Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. Treasures of the Falling Star. The stars spread out in the sky like a tapestry, and across the, that expanse you see one streak of light, a shooting star. And I've heard that there's a treasure waiting there where these stars have landed. The next time you see one, why not track it down and see where it lands? Tracy's recommendation, four stars. <laughs> That's funny. This is a recipe or something? It looks kind of like it. But you, my friend, I see you around here a lot. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Check it out. Check out my mixtape. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm, I know I've seen that spring in the goddess statue before. There was a place like this in the ruins of North Akala Valley to the west of here. So, so I might do that next episode. I think I'm going to go check out the lighthouse first, but I, we'll figure out what order to do these in as things just go on. I'm having a good time right now. There's Wolf Link. Here we go. So we want to go up uh, north, right? How far do you think that is? Probably not too far, I would guess. Probably walkable. There's also a thing over here. This looks interesting. I'll go check it out later. I don't know what order to do this stuff in. Skull Lake. Oh, I've definitely put a pin there. All right. Let's go. So I put that star there. Just remember, I can get a stamina overflow. It's raining. I can probably find some hot-footed frogs if I want to. Oh my god, he's gonna attack it. I still want to use my overflow. That's the one thing I'm I'm worried about. I don't want to use my overflow. Oh, I can I think I see the lighthouse thing. Up ahead. Maybe so. It's a nice little stroll to be honest. I don't know if my my Wolf dog is still hunting down these guys or not. I'm not really in the mood for meat. I'm in the mood for journey. I feel like it would, this would have been best to... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. So maybe... Oh, yeah, this was not a long travel at all. I keep thinking sometimes, like, I need to bring my horse in. But sometimes I'm just like, no, it's not that far. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. Hold up. Because this is... Uh, okay, yes. This guardian spear should be good against guardians. Let me take... Uh, uh, um, we have this. That's cool. Uh, maybe an ice arrow. Right in the peepers. For now. Oh my god. Yeah, get him. Okay, don't, don't actually. Okay, hold on. Uh, nope. What? Okay, yeah, we want, we want bombs, I guess. But furthermore, I want something because I broke that. Holy God, I broke that. Um, I mean, we're both attacking this, and I like that he targets the dog. Target him. Keep targeting him. Oh, he's dead. We beat a guardian. We beat a guardian, Wolf Link. Any cores? Nope. I don't know how to get cores. Good job, buddy. How do I pet this guy? How do I pet him? Can I pet him? Nope. Whatever. You don't deserve pets. We beat a guardian, though. Holy cow. I'm starting to get good. I'm getting good at this game. Oh, man. I don't have any blue fire. I guess I, could, if I can't light it when it's raining. This is the same. This is going to be the same thing where it's like, oh, my God. You got, we got to have it lit up with blue fire. I, we put out the blue fire. 
Maybe so. Are you gonna kill that fox? <laughs> Is he gonna kill the fox? Where's he going? You're going all out. Bonkers, dude. Ancient tech lab, yeah. I, mean, I bet this needs to be lit, just like before. Where's the blue fire of long ago? Oh, here we go. Let's search this guy. There's no, uh... Oh, wow. So there's, uh, there's a thing obviously there. It's like a maze to go through. My wolf link. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna check this out. This place looks cool. I think it's floating. Ancient shaft. Ancient spring. The heck? This is broke. All right, let's go take a look. I don't even know what the blue fire is. Oh wow, okay. Maybe this is automated. Hello. Hi, <laughs> it's, and it's, oh my God. Hi. Hey you, what are you doing here? Hmm? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, you were a weirdo, dude. Hey, buddy. Robbie. Are you the one called Link? Yes. Hmm, hmm. That's not too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I need to tell you. But how can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Hmm, oh, yes. Uh, if you could show me the wounds your body suffered 100 years ago that, show, that should prove you're truly Link. Hmm, hmm, too bad if you were, yeah, how do I do it? Well, how do I show you the wounds? How do I show you wounds? Oh, maybe I get naked. Let me talk to this girl first. You cool, if you get naked, of course you are. Who are you? Unless you're an acquaintance of Robbie's, I can't talk to you, trade secrets, you know. All right, well, I'm gonna just go look around your lab, see what, oh, an examine, this is a rumor mill, Robbie's memoirs. Okay, the first page, here we go. Let me start from the beginning. It was 100 years ago. Calamity Ganon had already swallowed Princess Zelda. Dr. Pura and I had already taken Link to the Shrine of Resurrection and left him to recover. Dr. Pura and I departed for Kakariko Village where we left Lady Impa. All three of us couldn't uh, stay together, of course. We couldn't risk Calamity Ganon getting us all in one strike. If that happened, there'd be no one left to deliver Princess Zelda's message to Link when he recovered and woke up. We had to ensure at least one of us would be able to talk to him. So Dr. Pure and I set out to survive as long as we could. We were lucky. We found large amounts of ancient energy in the Nakluda and Akala region so we could continue our research, just as we had in Hyrule Castle. We could again set ourselves to finding some way to seal Calamity Ganon away. We decided who would go <laughs> in the only fair way. Rock, paper, scissors. I set out for Akala soon after. I was all set to go to Akala, but first I decided to go with Dr. Pura to the ancient energy source in Nakluda. Actually, that implies I had a choice. Dr. Pura laid it on pretty heavy, a pretty heavy, heavy guilt trip when I suggested her going along, alone. In a world as dangerous as ours, are you seriously asking me to travel alone? She's so darn pushy. Anyway, Dr. Pura promised Lady Impa that they'd meet again someday. Then she and I set out from Kakariko Village, uh, but not before loading a cart with a guidance stone Dr. Pura had been using at Hyrule Castle. We traveled for some time, south of the Pillars of Levia, across Lake Celia, and through Blatchery Plain. Then we came upon Fort Hatino. Link had battled an army of guardians there, and it was where he'd been defeated. A master swordsman such as Link, who'd impressed King Rome enough to be made Princess Zelda's personal knight, well, even someone like that has their limits. I'm sorry, Link. I spent so much of my life researching the guardians. Even with all my knowledge, I wasn't able to give you the weapons or power you needed to succeed. Uh, those were my thoughts as I looked upon the broken husks of the guardians strewn from Fort Hatino. Lost in my thoughts, I didn't notice that Dr. Pura had slipped away. I knew Atino Village wasn't much farther along the road and that the Calamity had barely touched that area, so I felt safe letting her continue on her own. We parted ways without even saying goodbye, I suppose. Stirring myself back into action, I set out on my own journey back toward K Kakariko Village. With Dr. Pura escorted safely to Atino Village, it was time for me to head to the new home in Akala. I returned to Kakariko Village to collect the remaining Guidance Stone, and then I immediately set out for Akala. I made my way through the Laneru wetlands and headed towards a Turneo Trail. 
I knew that once the, the, I crossed the Akala span, I would officially be an Akala. The autumn leaves uh, brought some joy to my spirit as I crossed Shadow Pass and headed north from uh, Orderok Quarry. Akala is known for its long stretches of nothing. I had set out hoping that would still be the case. I was attacked by a guardian here and there as I went. Um, oh, I was attacked by a guardian here and there as I went. But remember, I'd spent my life studying them. Dispatching them individually was no challenge at all. In time, I reached the lighthouse in Akala. What a perfect place to keep an eye on the monsters out there. I unloaded my guidance stone and sailed, settled into my new home. And so, my life of solitary, uh, solitary research. I knew I had to continue to research the ancient soldier gear for Link. He could wake at any time. I quickly settled on a routine. First, I would carry the blue flame from Tumlia Heights, which is probably where I need to go. Next, I would melt the ancient materials, refine the result, and shape it into ancient soldier gear. It's difficult to say how much progress I made on my research. The routine demanded so much focus day after day. But then I had a clever thought. I realized I could automate the entire refinement process. It took some significant work, but I was able to successfully remodel the guidance stone. Thanks to my effort, I can refine any ancient material inserted into it and offer something in return. I named this machine Cherry, after the first girl I ever loved. My research didn't end well with the creation of Cherry, not at all. I realized that if she was able to refine the ancient materials, there was no reason she couldn't also manufacture ancient soldier gear too. Anyone can make ancient equipment. I also decided that I wanted to be able to give her a voice so she could speak. I was, easy, I was filled with ambition then, but it was no easy task to make my dreams a reality. Automating the manufacturing process was extremely difficult. It took me decades to figure out. I'll spare you the details of all the things that went wrong. But I will say it was complex enough that I had to put my desires to remodel Cherry on the back burner for a while. Days and months came and went before I even realized it. I reached the ripe old age of 90. But I would have been lost in my work even then. But around that time, a young woman named Jaren arrived. She's, she'd first trained with Dr. Pura, then Lady Impa had sent her to aid me. She quickly proved herself quite capable. She carried the blue flame from Tumlia Heights and even reworked an improved design for Cherry. The very fact that she had tracked all the way from Kakariko Village alone proved she was no ordinary girl. Her intellect, her spirit, in hindsight, is it any surprise that we eventually ended up married? Thanks to Jaren's redesign, Cherry was soon crafting ancient soldier gear perfectly and speaking beautifully. She spoke better than any machine I'd ever heard. It would have been hard to tell she was a, wasn't a native Hylian. If I said good morning, she'd respond with a sweet good morning, Robbie. And she was helpful. Cherry, where did I leave my book? It's the third book from the right on the second shelf, Robbie. She also knew to ask if she needed something. Robbie, could you increase the furnace heat a little? I'd always go personally to fetch more blue flame from Tumlia Heights. I didn't realize her interactions hurt someone. That someone was Jaren. Perhaps it was due to the, her namesake, but my exchanges with Cherry hurt Jaren. Despite the fact she knew Cherry was only a machine, she still felt, felt uneasy with my interactions with her. She was in tears when she told me. She knew it made little sense, and yet she couldn't help how she felt. I was devastated. I hadn't even realized the pain I was causing. Although Jaren had, re had designed Cherry, she was now being hurt by her own creation. We agreed to restore Cherry to her original mechanical way of speaking. I took it upon myself to make the changes. From then on, I was careful to not refer to her as Cherry. Doing so would anger my wife. Instead, I called her Ancient Oven. Sometime later, Jaren gave birth to a baby boy, a beautiful young one who bore all the features of his mother. We decided to name him Grante. <laughs> and together we passed the time as a happy family in a Kala Ancient Tech Lab. It was, unfortunately, only a temporary peace. Princess Zelda did her best to contain Calamity Ganon. Around the time Grante turned three, a letter from Dr. Pura arrived. It was a shock to receive it. The last time she'd written, it was to talk about an assistant from Kakariko Village whom she felt was useless. She was writing now to let me know she completed research on powering up the runes, like stasis. Hearing this uh, reinvigorated my interest in researching ancient soldier gear. Grante grew fast, and it wasn't long before he towered over me. He loved to carry blue flame from Tumlia Heights, calling it a chance to train his body. I could see the curiosity in his eyes, so I encouraged him to travel the world and see as much as he could. He'd always been independent, but I was still surprised when he went. The very day I told him to travel, he left. Writing about Grante's training reminds me. A few days before he left, I thought it might be a good idea to have Grante study with Dr. Pura. I wrote to her to ask what she thought of such an idea, and she sent a letter that simply said, Don't send anyone here. I wonder what happened to her uh, to make such a thing. Make her say such a thing. All right. I don't know. Oh, oh, she probably because uh, probably because she she uh, yeah. Probably because she got young or whatever. All right, stop reading. I read it all. Oh, what a read! You are quite the novelist, basically, Robbie. 
Yeah, he wants to see me naked. I get it. I'll, I'll do it in a second. But I want to see what's upstairs first. I want to explore this place. I am not allowed to talk to his wife unless I'm his friend first. I'm not hitting on her. I'm not trying to steal her away from you. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. There's a thing up here. My dog must be down there just patiently waiting for me to scour this area. It's okay. Hold up. Look at this. Where are we going here, huh? Is that a catapult? <laughs> Maybe. Um, whoa! Okay, cool. I did find you. The Korok seed. Bye. Bye now. Okay, so I found this place. Um, let me go back down. I guess they want to see me naked. I guess that's the only way to really prove my scar. I mean, how else do you show people scars without getting naked? I don't know. I don't know where the scar is though. So I'm just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to do it. What's wrong with you? Okay, I understand. Yeah, show you my body. But if we're talking bodies, I've got the perfect one. Just gotta figure out how to do it. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. This is me. Yes, the number of scars on your body. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm, yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin again. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie. All right, good for you. In any case, I am really impressed that you made it all the way to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? I'm, I did. I could have just said yes. Hmm, Pura, a child. What, she really has a kid? Hmm, or do you mean that Pura is aged backwards and she is now a child? Are you certain? She's as crazy as ever. Okie doke, knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, yes, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand. Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I know. Hmm, let's see. Then I don't need to tell you my story, huh? Tell me your story. Hmm, yes, I see. In that case, the goal of the Arshika Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the Calamity that has endured across time, to rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the Calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now. Hmm, yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? We must destroy the Calamity. Let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Did you catch all that? <sighs> Cherry, the ancient oven creates an ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of, she's out of sorts at the moment. So he said cherry, but then he stopped. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Okay. What's up, Jaren? You look good. And, oh, I do look good. Check it out. How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of a ton of ancient tech labs director Pura shot. Maybe a little bit much for the first time meeting you. Not at all. Oh, Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, I'm Jaren. Check it out. <laughs> I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history, to be honest. I've been focusing a lot of my research on shrines. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's someone, so somewhere you need to go. Uh, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Kilton's the guy I don't trust, right? Have you got any other questions about Robbie? What about him? Robbie is one of the researchers of ancient civilization. He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle 100 years ago. Oh, Robbie, we're a half century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. You're married? Yes, indeed. Together we run the Akali Ancient Tech Lab. I've got a son as well. 
Have you got any other questions? Your son. That's right, I've got one son. His name is Grante. Have you seen him in your travels? I saw him, did I? Oh, I guess I did. Well, that's good to hear. Grante is still a work in progress. Once he's done studying armor, I'm hoping to convince him to take over my research. Have you got any other questions? I don't know if I've actually met him. But I said I did. So, I gotta go somehow light this up, right? Light it up in uh, Tumlia uh, Heights. You know, maybe that was where it was. Maybe that's, uh, maybe it wasn't that far. I can take a torch and then I can go over there. I should consider putting on some gear. So yeah, I was up here and I probably had a good mark on it, I guess, before I, before I jumped down. So let's go back around. Actually, I can go, um, yeah, I probably found, I probably looked up, up at the top. You know, I should probably go ahead and put some clothes on. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Duh. Okay. Let me go ahead and put my climbing gear on. Can I sort this? Okay, well, equip that. It was. I wish it were all together. It's okay. Climbing gear is going on. Equip it. I look like a cool dude. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just see if that was uh, what it was about when I was up there. Like, cause it seemed maybe that was the blue stuff, the blue fire stuff that I need to get to. Uh, over this way. Here we go. They're playing the funkiest of musics. I'm also not really sure how to get. I mean, this seems really cool, right? How to get over there? Seems like a fun little maze. Fun subjective, I guess. Oh, come on. I just do this. Link. Right, let's climb the ladders that they've given us. All right. So I'm guessing, again, just a guess. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop, okay. I'm guessing that's the blue stuff. I'm guessing. It's like this guardian, oh my god, look at this guardian here. There's an ancient shaft again. a lot of stuff here. A lot of parts just scattered in this area. This is really crazy. Wow. I think I'm going to need these soon. Man, oh man. I just need a core, one more core, and I'll have what it takes to, uh, to get um, a stasis upgrade, I hear, so. Let's head this way until I can find uh, that blue stuff. The kangaroo? No, okay, it's a deer. I think that's it over there. I think as long as it doesn't rain, I can probably get it. Oh dear, okay. Well, let's let's do this. We got a similar mission of lighting the torches. But I think I'm gonna have to clear uh, this thing first. Or if not first, later. It's daytime though, so maybe... Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Ow. What? All right, no more broadswords for me. He's eating. He needs to fill it up.
I still have Mipha's grace. Uh oh. Got him. Oh, jeez, he's back. Got him. Nice. Alright, oh man, there's a guy over there too. We might have to take all these guys out, right? Alright, get ready. Uh oh. Doggy's getting him. Uh oh. Nice teamwork. Wonderful. Who's here? Uh oh. Oh god, I killed Wolf Blink! He's on fire! <laughs> that was wonderful. Not so good for Wolf Link though, but that part was cool. It's a big boulder. Oh, and it's not the boulder. That's right. I, I always forget these are not boulders. Fire in the eyes. Well, okay. Surprise. Where'd he go? Got him. Is that it? Don't need that. There's a treasure chest in here. Also, it seems to be like a uh, okay knight's bow. I already have stuff like that. All right. Let's time time to light the fire. Let's not play around. All right. We need to get up to that area and light the fires and, and start with that process before it starts raining or something. And I don't really need a torch when I can have one of these clubs. Gotcha, dearie. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and think about the torch. Or not think about the torch. I don't know. I don't really need the torch, but I could get rid of it. You know what? I'll just leave it here. If I need it, I'll need it. I'll, I'll bring this. This thing can be used. The fire's up here. I hear a shrine nearby. It's a shrine over there. We got the blue flames, baby. And we're just gonna, you know, burn them. Light those things on fire until we get home. I've already kind of cleared out a bunch of uh, the enemies along the way. Some, some of them are back already. Ridiculous. But if I can clear that out, that should be fine. Where's the nearest, uh... Where's the nearest one? Hold on, which way is home? Am I th this way is the way home. Kinda went down the wrong way. 
So I'm guessing there's gonna be like a uh Man, see, I already took these guys out. There wasn't like a blood moon or anything. I swear I took all these guys out, but maybe not. What I need to do is go light one of them, probably. What? It broke? Well, where did I put the torch? I'm not gonna remember where I put the torch. Why would it break? There's a torch. All right. Here we go. Please get ready. <laughs> Boom, torch, torching it up. All right, so this is one lit. And we're just gonna like the whole forest on fire. And the blue flame. I think it just fall, or do you think it's gonna? I don't even know. I don't know if I have to do all of them or not. Nice. I can like this one now. Oh my god, bats! Get out of here, bats! What the heck? Fish sickle. Nice. Back to torch. And off we go. This one's definitely populated with a lot more monsters. I'm not ready for all these monsters, dude. <sighs> Hold up, if I can make it over here, if I can make it over here without being killed, I can light this. I can maybe just jump and move. Oh my god. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm heading out. I don't need to fight you guys. I don't want to fight you guys. I'm a peaceful being. I guess it is getting nighttime, isn't it? Oh my god. No. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Okay. I see ya. Oh ho ho. How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. Light this up. Um. Okay, what? <laughs> so it's to my it's to my left. Excuse me. I think I'm going the total wrong way. Oh, no, maybe not. This is a pretty dangerous journey we're making. It's to my left, though, right? I mean... Okay. You know what? We are going to have to fight. Uh, but not with the torch! What the heck? Okay. I, hold on. I was, uh, wrong buttons. Okay. Here we go. Eat that. Fine. Dang it. Goodbye. Alright. Bring my torch back out because I just lit it over there. Can I move that with stasis or something? Or mag I mean magnesis? All right, let's just keep going. We gotta light this area, come on. I don't know if you get any sort of bonus for lighting up everything. To me, it's just a path that I'm taking, right? And, you know, maybe, in fact, it was, I was supposed to go the other way. Maybe I'm going the wrong way now. Cause like, why would I cross the bridge over to this side, right? I don't have an answer for that, so. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's. Okay. Where's the map? Yeah. Let's just go this. I thought maybe I'd get on a road or something. Like another road. Or maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe I'm going the right way. Because maybe I can just. Yeah. Go up that road. I'm trying to take like a path of least resistance. If that makes sense. Huh. I would hope my torch wouldn't just burn out. Mm, 
but let's see. I'm going around this lake. Oh yeah, there's another. There's another one. So this isn't so bad. Oh God, no! Time out. Time out, guys. Time out. No, oh, whatever. Son of a. Dang it. Oh, I was so close. Um. Okay. Fine. Fine. Not the torch. Oh my God! You're gonna break the torch. Okay. Vicious sickle. There we go. All right. Uh, okay, that's a long ways to, to go again. Oh, we're tracking treasure chests still? I meant to be tracking shrines. Can't carry that right now. It wouldn't surprise me if there's like a treasure chest somewhere around here. All right. Just gonna grab this guy. He's such a pretty restless cricket. All right, let's go like the next one. My goal is to eventually get over to that one, and then that one, and then start going up the trail, I guess. Again, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if there's any reward for lighting them all. It seems like that's something they would do. But for now, I just don't have the desire to, to make sure they're all lit because without knowing. I can always do that later, you know? And I feel like I did all the... I would do all the ones on Kakariko Village first. Alright, I'm just going to try to bum rush it and light it right there. Like, I know he sees me, right? Deal with it. Can we get back on the trail? If we get back on the main road, that'll be actually really good. I don't know if there's going to be any uh, lanterns on the main road, but this will be out of sight for a lot of the stuff. All right, here we go. I know there's going to be a lantern up there. It's way up there. I hope the guardian's not back. It's a long way to carry it without knowing where the next you know, piece is. Uh, shouldn't it be too far? There's a wolf pack over there. Yeah, it must have been that way. Like, down there is probably, like, another lantern somewhere. We got one here. And we got one up here, and then we get to light the furnace. So, good job, me. Here we go. And then light it up, baby. And we ha we now have this as a fast travel spot. Excellent. So now we just be like, get out of here, torch. Burn down the whole app. I did it. You, Link, listen up. My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such a power of love. My love made Cherry well again. The furnace is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, <clears throat> please take this as a gift. My gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. I got Ancient Arrow times three. They are made using secret Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into ancient anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Ancient Arrows. I already have one. In addition to ancient arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials or in rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, <laughs> oh, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out with rupees. Lots of them, I beg of you. Then let's do that. Do it. Hmm? The two of us, as soon as possible. Yes. Let's conquer the calamity. All right, he's got to stop doing the guitar thing. So we uh, did Robbie's research. Let's see what, uh, hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. 
Oh, cool. Okay, so I can make these uh, ancient things here. Ancient. Oh, the, the these things definitely look the best. But I need cores for these, and I don't have cores. Uh, so, but it's cool to see that these things I can just get again. But man, I really could use some uh, some. Uh, man, I could really use some cores. I don't know where to get cores. And these cost a lot. I might take some uh, ancient arrows. I don't know. I don't need anything right now. But the fact is, we did this. She's asleep. And we made it this far. We had fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back next time for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.